Hey everyone, welcome to our 59th episode of Brew Talk with Mr. Beer. My name is Robert, I'll be your host for today. As always, we appreciate you tuning in and watching us for our weekly show here. A little housekeeping before I get started. If you enjoy this episode or any episodes and you learn something, enjoy what we're talking about, please like, comment, share the episode, share with people, share with your friends, and that way we just know that you enjoying them, or you are enjoying them, and we can keep putting them out. Um, and also make sure to subscribe to um, you know our YouTube channel, follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Um, those are probably the places we're most active. Um, and also on our blog, pagemistry.com slash blog, you can find all the notes of the videos and also blog posts that we do talking about various topics and different things like what to do with old yeast is one of the recent ones that we did. Uh, so it's just an excellent place to get awesome information, pagemistry.com slash blog or you can find that uh, in the menu of our website or on your mobile phone, hit the little hamburger button there and pop out that menu and check it out. And you can search stuff on there, which is pretty cool. Uh, all right, today's topic, um, something we get quite often, and I've seen fairly recent lately in, in the Facebook group, but it's basically it's how long can you leave your homebrew in the fermenter? Um, I know all the instructions have a set of dates on them and that, or that we tell you how long to ferment for, but obviously things happen, so we can paint a little picture for you. You've brewed an awesome Mr. Beer recipe or refill, but then you get busy. You're doing things, you're working, kids, family, you know, go out of town, go on vacation, things come up, and then also one night you realize that your beer's been sitting there for like 28 days, four weeks. It's like a week to two weeks overdue from when you're supposed to bottle it. It happens to everybody, so don't worry about it. Things come up, beer sit. Sometimes you can't always bottle them, you always want to, but you just can't. So obviously the question at that point is, is my beer still good? Can I bottle it? Or should I dump it before you ever dump any beer that you are brewing? Always taste it. Uh, you may think something is bad, you can try it, it tastes totally normal. Or you'd be surprised and get like a breath infection in a beer, which has happened from time to time here. And it turns into a pretty decent sour, you know. It's got a little funky taste to it, but not too bad if you're into that sort of thing. Uh, so you should never know, depending on the infection that you get, you could get a good beer. Still, you could get a terrible beer, or you could have a beer that's totally fine with no infections at all, depending for how long you left it. So. Always try it before you dump it with anything is a good rule of thumb. So for Mr. Beer, we always recommend with all of our instructions that you bottle your beer no later than 24 days in the fermenter. Uh, you can let it go longer, but the longer your beer sits, you know, the greater the risk is for getting an infection or off flavors in your beer. Uh, we've done the 24 day mark for a long time for a max thing since as long as I've been here for about eight years. And it's worked really, really well for us. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's a good thing to do. Um, obviously, we've gone over in some cases, you know, 24 to 28 days kind of a range there. But I would say you'd want to bottle your beer at 28 days. That's kind of like a time stamp that I have to put on it that's saying, you know, if you want to let your beer sit for maximum duration, try to get it bottled by the 28th day. Um, or if you cannot, you'd want to rack it into a secondary fermenter. Obviously, not necessary with Mr. Beer, but if you're like, I just can't bottle this, I need to get it off the yeast, make sure you sanitize everything and rack it into a secondary fermenter. The main reason you, I'm gonna butcher this word, the main reason you wanna get your beer off the yeast is due to auto, autolysis, which is um, basically yeast cells die and they can rupture and they release off flavors into your beer. So getting your beer off that dead yeast is what will help prevent that off flavor. So that flavor is the main culprit, that off flavor is the main reason of that happening is why you get those weird flavors in your beer. Uh, when you have a homebrew that has happened with it will kind of have a burnt rubber taste or a kind of a smell to it. It will be undrinkable. So you'll know when you try it, taste it, it's just bad. You've known that you let it sit for too long. You got that off flavors from the dead yeast. And at that point, you would sadly want to toss it. Um, now, obviously, there's always a note that there are always cases where you keep your beer in the fermenter for longer. I've done some research. People have fermented beers for, you know, six, seven weeks without any issues. If you're racking to secondary fermentation, it's letting things age and it's really tight and steel's in there, you can let beers go much longer than that as well as long as you're racking it off the yeast trucks to prevent that off flavor from happening. So it's not, you know, there's a lot of different things you can do that are more steps, but if you're just brewing kind of the, the Mr. Beer way and keeping the process simple and following a recipe or refill ingredients, you want to get it off the truck by 24 to 28 days at the latest. Um, and also just make sure that when you are brewing, that you're planning ahead your bottling day. So you're looking at your instructions, you're knowing this beer is going to be done in 14 days. So you need to make sure that I can bottle it somewhere around that time frame. And that way you don't forget, put it in your calendar. Put a reminder in your calendar app or on your phone or wherever you do that. Um, so yeah, so wrap it up. So 28 days is the max is what we try to 
try to save for severe, but 20, no later than 24 days is really what we recommend. We want to be within that range. Uh, so that covers our topic for today. Appreciate you guys taking the time to watch. Hope you enjoyed something. Uh, if you want to learn more about Mr. Beer, talk with other awesome brewers, or gain all kinds of new and useful insights, you got to join our Facebook group, Mr. Beer's Brewing Society. It's going to be found on Facebook by searching Mr. Beer's Brewing Society. Got his name. Answer the three questions and we'll let you in. Please answer all three questions. We're going to tell you to answer like one question and don't answer the rest. Answer all three or we're going to let you in. Just how it works. Please answer them all. If you have any issues answering the questions, shoot us a message to customer service and we'll get you added in. No problem. 1,300 members strong. Great place to hang out and learn all kinds of new stuff. It's going to wrap it up for this week. I uh, hope you guys are drinking some awesome brews and brewing some amazing beer and I'll see you guys next week. Cheers.